week marks two years since George Floyd's death at the hands of police, which we know led to deadly protests across the nation. One of those deaths was a North Texas native whose family is speaking out for the first time here on CBS 11. Garrett Foster's mom and dad talked to our J.D. Miles earlier tonight about their lawsuit over his death and also why they say they feel like they've been victimized. You may remember Garrett Foster's story. He was a 28-year-old Plano native shot and killed by a motorist in downtown Austin during the July 2020 Black Lives Matter protests. His family says they are still waiting for justice two years later and tells me tonight they've gone through hell since. It's the last time that I talked to him. He said, I need to come home. I wish I would have begged him to come home because then he would have been home that weekend and not in Austin. No. Sheila Foster is still racked with guilt because that last phone call with her son Garrett was only days before he was shot and killed in downtown Austin. Worst night of my life. It was July 2020. 28 year old Garrett Foster, who grew up in Plano, spent 50 straight days protesting in the wake of George Floyd's death with his fiance Whitney always by his side. He loved her so much. She's 19 years old going to school to be a dancer and they cut off all four of her limbs. And then she had to watch him die in the street. A man later identified as Army Sergeant Daniel Perry has been charged with murder for killing Foster from his car after the victim thought he was threatening to run over protesters. Perry's attorney has told CBS 11 News a crowd surrounded his client's car and he felt threatened something Foster's mother disputes. A lawsuit filed by Foster's mother claims Perry was driving for Uber at the time and violated its policy prohibiting drivers from carrying firearms. The criminal case against Perry, whose Twitter posts include threats against protesters, still hasn't gone to trial nearly two years since the shooting. I think justice will, will arrive, you know, it seems like a long time. That's also because during that time, the family has been exposed to cruel online attacks and memes, mocking the interracial couple and accusing Foster, who was armed, of provoking the shooting. And I think the longer it drags on before we get the truth out there, the more of that I'm going to have to deal with. It is absolutely brutal. Foster's mother just wants her son's life to be treated with dignity and compassion, quality she says he died for. We were so divided during that summer and the hatred, the hatred was ultimately what killed my child. The accused shooter is scheduled to be back in court in July. He has claimed that Foster pointed his gun at him and that he fired in self-defense. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., we thank you. One other item of note, CBS 11 did also ask Perry's attorney about the lawsuit. Uh, the Foster family filed. He told us, quote, they are trying to profit off Garrett Foster's poor decisions that night and leading up to it.